Ryan. Welcome to our topic on linear motion again. We are solving a question, a short question of um, three marks. And the question reads, my viewer, a bus takes 195 minutes to travel to a distance of into brackets 2x plus 30 kilometers. That is the distance. At an average speed of x minus 20 kilometers per hour. Full stop. And then we are told to calculate the actual distance traveled, traveled. Full stop. Give your answer in kilometers. The reason as to why you are told to calculate the answer in the actual distance because the distance it is x 2x plus 30 kilometers. That is not the actual. Are you together? So we have the distance. We have the speed and also the time. So time is equal to 195 minutes. So what do we do with this 195 minutes? We convert it to hours. Are we together? So in terms of hours, 195 you divide by 60 because we know it is 60 minutes that makes one hour. 195 divided by 60 equal to 3.25 hours. Are you together? Distance is equal to x 2x plus 30. And then speed is given by x minus 20 kilometers per hour. Now, when you have this eh, and we have the time, time is the, in the actual Time. Are we together? So, we, how do we get the formula for calculating time? Time is calculated by time is equal to distance over speed. Time is given by distance over speed. Now, we just insert what we have and what we don't have. Are you together? We have time. Time is in terms of decimals, it is 3.25 hours is equal to distance, we are told that the distance is equal to 2x plus 30 is equal to 2x plus 30 kilometers divided by the speed. What is the speed? Is x minus 20 kilometers per hour. x minus 20 kilometers per hour. When you see an equation like this, time is equal to distance over speed. So what comes into your mind when you have an equation, the equal side? We have the one terms in the left hand side and another term in the right hand side. So what do you do? You cross multiply, you cross multiply. So what links into your mind, my viewer, should be cross multiplication. And always whole number as a fraction, it is always over one. So you keep our time in, uh, in terms of function over one, and then you cross multiply. When you cross multiply, what shall we have, my viewer? It is indeed so what we shall have will be this one times one. It will be two x plus thirty multiplied by one. Two x plus thirty multiplied by one. It will be equal to x minus 20 x minus 20 multiplied by 3.25 so it equals to when you multiply this by 1 it will be 2 x plus 30 is equal to what is 3.25 multiplied by x it will be 3.25 x Minus 3.25 multiplied by 20. 3.25 multiplied by 20. It will be 60, 65. So when you have our equation like this, what follows it is just liking terms together. We have x here and we have x on the other side. Are we together? So what do you do? You bring this one to that side and then this one negative 65. Take it to the other side so that our equation will be 
3 হইছে 25x 2x s1 is positive when it equals to that side to be negative minus 2x is equal to when this one comes that side this side it will be positive so it will be 30 plus 65 are you together so 3.25x minus 2x it will be 1.25 are you together 1.25x is equal to 30 plus it will be 90, 95. I together. So x has been to solve out for x. X has been multiplied by 1.25. So what do you do? Opposite of multiplication, you divide by 1.25. And what you do to the other side? Do to the other side. Are you together? So it will be divide by 1.25. So by 1.25 by 1.25. So our x will be 90. Divided by 1.25, that is 95. Divided by 1.25, it will be 76. Now, when it is 76, go back to our equation, our value for distance. What was distance? And remember that distance was 2x. Distance was 2x plus 30. Distance was 2x plus that. So we come back here and substitute the value for x. Are we together? So it will be now so that we can solve out the actual distance. So it will be 2 times x, which is 76 plus 30. So what is 76 times 2? It becomes 150. 150. 2 plus and the answer will be 152 plus 30, it becomes 182 kilometer, which was the distance in kilometers, and it is the actual distance that the, the bus travels in the 195 minutes. Thank you for watching my viewer kindly. Don't forget to subscribe, to click the notification bell, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, so that whenever I read another class in mathematics lesson, you will be able to learn with me and you will be able to pass mathematics together, to pass mathematics together with me. Thank you for watching again. Until next time.